Why do a lot of black women today want to be white supremacists? I don't have an answer to that. A lot of black women today like wear straight hair and it just seems like they maybe want to be white. You mean like me? You think I want to be white? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to be white. Why do you think a lot of black women want to be white supremacists today? Oh, what? <laughs> How we get here? Because I see all these like 6'13 blonde wigs and it just... Oh, hold on. I feel That's like they much. want to be white. They don't want to be white. They just look bad as hell. Alright you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm somewhere new actually. I'm here in DC at Howard University. And today we're gonna be asking black women why they wanna be white supremacists. Shout out to the saint in the center on YouTube. His name is Marquette Devon Burton. I heard him say this in a couple of his live streams um, to whereas black women may be white supremacists because they wear straight hair and things like this. We're gonna walk around and see why they actually do this today. Come on, let's go. How come a lot of black women today wanna be white supremacists? Um, I don't know. Because I see a lot of black women with like all these like wigs and straight hair and it just seems like they maybe want to be like white women. I don't know if that's really why. Why do you think they wear fake hair today? Because they want to switch up their hairstyle but not mess up their actual hair. But can't they switch up their natural hair with doing like natural hairstyles like you like? Cornrows, braids, twists, so why do they need the fake hair? If you want to do something different like go blonde but you don't want to mess up your hair. That makes sense, but there are natural hair dyes that they can use too. They don't have to put in the fake hair. And my thing is, if they want blonde, right? How come it's always straight hair? Why is it never uh, like a blonde curly afro? Because they might want to be white, right? It is a possibility. I think it's about being able to manage it. If you have curly hair, you gotta make sure you sleep a certain way so the curls don't get all tangled. Mm -hmm. Or if it's like curled, you gotta make sure you gotta recurl them all the time versus if it's straight. You just brush it out and it's like, okay, we're done. So it's hard to manage, that's why they put on the, the wigs and stuff? Yes. But is it really though? Wigs and weaves still take a lot of maintenance. It's not just easy, like, cause think about it. They still have to braid their hair under the wig. And then on top of that, they have to style the wig every day and brush the wig too. So it's actually more maintenance to put in fake hair. So why do they really do it? Well, no, I say it's less maintenance cause I've had wigs before and it was definitely way easier. I would just wake up. I said, brush my hair, and I was done. <laughs> it's like, also, if you want long hair, and your hair's short, then what else are you supposed to do? Look at her hairstyle. I'm pretty sure she can wake up and go, just like that. Am I right? Right, so why don't black women do styles like that, where they can just get up and go if it's <clears throat> really about, like, maintenance? You said switch it up. You don't always want to get braids. Like, I don't always want to have this. Sometimes I want long hair. And sometimes that long hair, well, actually, I don't wear my hair straight. That's just, but that's just me, though. I don't like straight hair. Right. But or maybe it's just insecurities. Black women today may be insecure about their natural hair. That's why they don't want to wear it out. I remember it was this one guy, he had like his afro in like elementary school or something and people like said he looked like he got electrocuted. Right. That happens so, to the best of us. Yeah. yeah. It could be like an insecurity thing, but just from people thinking it's a negative thing. So they're too worried about society and what society has to say about their hair. Why do a lot of black women today want to be white supremacists? I don't have an answer to that. A lot of black women today like wear straight hair and it just seems like they maybe want to be white. You mean like me? You think I want to be white? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to be white. Are you sure? Yes, I'm yeah. completely then, sure. Then why did you straighten your hair? Because I just wanted to. I felt like it. You just wanted to. I can do whatever I want with my hair. You can, but like what is wrong with just like the natural curls There's and like the really afro? Really. There's nothing wrong with we it. We can't switch it up. We can't switch it up. Other races don't have to switch it up like that, but black but women... They curl their hair, right? Yeah. They curl it, but I mean, how often do you wear your afro out? As often as I want to. I have a lot of hair as well, so it's a lot to maintain. So why don't you do styles that are easy, like twists and things like that, where you can just wake up and go? I do do those. I do do twists and stuff. So this is like the only time in your life that you straightened your hair? Not the only time, but it's versatile. I can do whatever I want. Straightening your hair damages it. So Why do you have blonde hair? Because I was born this way. <laughs> but wait, wait, where are we going? Y'all just gonna walk away like that? How come a lot of black women today want to be white supremacists? I'm sorry, I don't think that's true. Then how come they wear like straight 613 bust downs and stuff like that? Well, that's like 27 on your head right now. But why do they do it? I don't know, why are you doing it? I'm trying to make them see how they look. It's like a mirror reflection. Okay, but they look good. Nah, yes, they look just like this. I don't think that's true. Why would they be wearing straight hair if they don't want to be a, a white supremacist? Why can't they wear straight hair? Because their hair doesn't naturally grow that way. Straight hair isn't just for white people. Black people don't grow straight hair. Okay, they do. He's wearing twists. That's, hair doesn't naturally grow into it. That's not straight hair though. But you but can when, do whatever you want with your hair. If you pay for it, you can do whatever you want. Shoot. Right, so like, what black people grow straight hair? Black people can grow blonde hair too. So it's just okay, not but, like, but where are they at? In Africa. Name one person though. 
how can I name an African person that I'm in America? That's what I'm trying to point out. Like, it's, it I did. It's like yeah, one little hair. How did you do that? I just washed it and twisted it. That's it? Yeah. How, how can I get mine like that? Yeah. Why do you think a lot of black women want to be white supremacists today? Oh, what? <laughs> how we get here? Because I see all these like 6'13 blonde wigs and it just, oh, hold on. I feel That's like they want to be white. They don't want to be white. They just look bad as hell. What about their natural hair though? Okay, what about their natural hair? They can do whatever they want with their hair. Yeah, so, they can wear their natural hair, they can wear a wig, it's not their choice. It's their hair. They can, but why is that the choice? Like, this 13 is cute as hell. You said it's cute? Yeah, so it's black, so it's brown, so it's ginger. But whenever I see a black woman go to like an occasion, they have to put like a wig on or something like that. Is that why you got a wig on right now? No, 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 this is not, this is not a part of the equation. Oh, okay. I was born this way, but them, why do they do this? Um, so just because they want to be cute? Yeah. What about the natural hair? Why isn't that cute? It is cute. And they might think that it's cute, but maybe they're not feeling the natural hair because the natural hair can be a lot of work and a lot of maintenance. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it. So but, if they feel in a wig, then they feel in a wig. But it also depends on what style that they do. Black women can wear whatever the fuck they want, can do whatever the fuck they want with their hair because it's their hair. We've been through all this shit, talk about some hair this, hair that. Do whatever y'all want. Black women to the top. Why do you think a lot of black women today want to be white supremacists? I just look around and I see them everywhere. Wait, where? The ones with the blonde wigs. Like the, like the one you wear? No, no, man. This, <laughs> this is mine. This is mine. This is my hair. But That's your hair? Yeah, yeah. But why do they want to be white supremacists? By wearing like the 613 blonde wigs and stuff like that? I don't think that it's that that's what they're going for. Mm. I just think that it's a hairstyle. Like, it's cute. Like, you know, your hair cute. Like, it's cute. You think it's, you think it's cute for them to wear another woman's hair on their head? Well, white women do it, too. But look, when a white woman does it, it looks like her natural hair. When black women do it, they don't wear like black women's type of curls on their head. They're wearing like straight hair. So why don't black women wear the Afro wigs and stuff like that? I just feel like it's a hairstyle. Hairstyles are a form of expression. Like women are allowed to express themselves in various different ways. And for black women, we use our hair to do so. Yeah, your hair, but how can you use somebody else's hair to express yourself? <laughs> it's a form right? of expression though. Like a form oh. of expression, like weave, wigs like that's our culture like that's what we grew up on the long nails the jewelry like that's just what we do weave is black culture yeah how it's black culture because it's rooted in i, I don't know how to explain it but like in history like you've seen it like you've seen we've always done the weaves the wigs the things like that like it's a part of who we are like mm -hmm. we're trendsetters that's just what we do did you know like george washington also wore wigs and stuff like yeah, that but like let's be for real that his his wigs was true like well, maybe i want to be like george washington then mm -hmm. Am I right? No, but you're not though because his wigs had nothing to do with how the wigs are. They're middle part bust downs. He had the, the rollers in his wigs. Anybody want to look like him? But I mean, I just don't understand why a lot of black women today don't wear their natural hair out. They always have to add in like the fake Kenneclon hair and things that's like true, that. And that's true. And I, I can I can see that. But it's also because black women were taught not to love their own hair. So it's hard. Like me personally, like it took me a very long time to like my own hair. I recently just locked my hair. And as you can see, I have weave in and it makes me feel pretty, but my locks also make me feel pretty. So mm. growing up, I just feel like as black women, we were taught to not like our own hair. So it has, it's just a, a training. They have to get out of that training. Like you have to learn to love yourself. So who taught black women not to like their own hair? It's an oppression type of thing. Like in schools, like it's, it's systematic, like society wise, like society, we're taught that, like you said, like straight, long, blonde hair is cute. Like that's what's cute. So it's like when you cute see Cute to that, who though? It's cute to everybody. No, like, cause when I ask black men, black men don't want to see that. Nah, they be trying it. No, no, they don't, they don't. They do though, because it's like, you have black black men that generally do say that and they probably do believe it, but then they their actions or the, the girls that they go for, the media that we see is like, they're with white women though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like they go for white women or mixed girls or girls who like, who have that curly hair, like they're, they're not liking girls with 4C hair. They're liking girls whose hair is curly like this down to their butt. Like it's, if they may say, that they like an Afro type of girl, but that's not what they're portraying. But how would a black woman even know? Because most black women that have like 4C hair, y'all don't even wear your hair out enough for a black man to even see it. So how y'all just gonna say black men don't like that type of hair? I think that, you got me there. I, <laughs> right. Like right. you got me over there. 
I think that, like I said, it just goes back to a woman loving herself first mm -hmm. before you even go to a man. Like, she has to love her own hair to allow a man to love her hair, mm. if that makes sense. Like you said, like, she probably doesn't wear her hair out a lot. So once she starts loving her hair, then that's when she'll attract a man who loves her hair just as much as she does. Mm. And so do you think that the insecurity may come from, like, black mothers and people like that? Because I feel like they're the first ones to put in the fake hair in your head and mm -hmm. tell you, hey, get your hair done. It's looking nappy. So maybe that insecurity comes from them and not from black men because a lot of black women also say that black men are the ones that demonize black women's natural hair when that's not really true like that i don't think that's true i do feel like it's it's a toss up of both like i feel like there are certain portrayals in the media that like that come from men that make black women feel down mm -hmm. but yeah it is a generational thing like you said like mothers black mothers be like aunties like all that like families like where you come from and how you grow up is who you are you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it's like like you said, like your mom putting that in your hair and instilling that like, oh, like you need to permit, you need to straighten it. Then, yeah, I can see that. So the last question, how do you think we get more black women to wear their natural hair today? I don't feel like anybody can get a black woman to wear her natural hair. I feel like a black woman has to want to wear her natural hair on her own. Like it's her choice. Like I said, it's, it's a confidence thing. So it's like when a woman feels confident in her own hair, she's going to wear it more and it's going to show. So it, when a woman, because, and also like, like I said, hair is a form of expression. Mm -hmm. So if a woman wants to express herself in that way, then that's what it's going to be. I don't mm -hmm. feel like there's nothing that anybody could do to change a woman, uh, how a woman wears her hair. But earlier we did come across like the, the fake hair and women wearing wigs and stuff. It kind of comes from a, from a curse, like your moms and stuff telling you that your hair is ugly. Mm -hmm. So why would black women today continue to keep wearing the wigs and the weaves and then they're going to curse their children with that same. With that same. Right. I, like, but like I said, it's a confidence thing. So you have to work on yourself. So me personally, like I'm learning how to, I locked my hair. That's what made me feel pretty. So it's like when I have a daughter, I'm not saying I'm going to make her lock her hair, right. but it's like, I want her to find something that makes her feel pretty in her own hair. So me personally, like wearing my hair out in afros, like that wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. But locking my hair makes me feel so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I want my daughter to figure out what makes her hair, like mm -hmm. in her own skin, like what makes her feel beautiful in her own hair. Okay. Okay. I appreciate your of answers course. today. You guys have a great rest of your day. I, I can show you where it's going to be at too.